Hello scholars, I'm glad you're back to learn more again. Let's jump right in. The purpose of today's lesson is to engage with our decodable book. This is module one, cycle three, lesson 12. Materials. Today, you'll need your thinking cap. Follow along with our first learning target. I can retell the events from Sunnyside Gazette. Sunnyside City Park is new and improved. You'll be listening to that article as I read it and then answering some questions in order to retell the events. Our second learning target says, I can read high frequency words and words that don't play fair. We did this together in cycle two, so it should start to be familiar to you. Transition song. Gather round together, together, together. Gather round together, together, together. It's time to hear a story, a story, a story. It's time to hear a story and say what we've learned. Read aloud. Today's edition of the Sunnyside Gazette is called Sunnyside City Park is New and Improved by Sasha Scribbles. Listen carefully as I read so you're able to answer questions afterwards. Sunnyside City Park is new and improved. Mayor Mack and volunteers from the Sunnyside neighborhood have been hard at work cleaning up the park and making it more fun and useful for the residents of Sunnyside. The most recent work has been done on Eagle Pond and the surrounding creeks and streams. Volunteers have worked to clean up the area. Trash has been removed from the grounds and stepping stones have been added to the paths leading to the pond. New trash cans and recycling bins have been added throughout the park. The pond has been stocked full of fish, mostly catfish. Park visitors may bring their own fishing pole and bait and catch up to five fish in a day. Fish must be released back into the pond or stream. Plans for future improvements include new playground equipment and new picnic benches. Now that we've listened to that edition of the Sunnyside Gazette, I have a few questions for you. What did Mayor Mack and the volunteers do in Sunnyside Park? The article mentioned that the pond had been stocked with fish. What does that mean? My last question is, what does the word improve mean? You were a great listener. Work. We've seen this snap and trap chart before. Some words will appear on the screen. They will all be high frequency words, but some of them won't play fair, meaning they might not use the spelling patterns that would match the sounds that the word is making. We'll look closely at each one to decide if it's a snap, meaning we can easily decode it, or if it might be a trap, meaning it has something that doesn't match. Let's take a look at the first word. It says R. I'm noticing when I say that word, I don't really hear those vowel sounds in the beginning. That bossy R is almost taking over the word, which makes it very hard to spell. That seems like a trap word. Let's move it into our chart. Here's
here's our next word. It says been. When I say been, it sounds like a short I sound. But when I look closely at the word, I notice it's using the EE -E pattern, which should make a long E sound. When I say the word been, I don't hear a long E, which means this is definitely a trap. Let's put it in our chart. Here's our final word. It's the word before. I hear a long E in the first syllable because it's an open syllable. I also hear a long O in the second syllable because it has a magic E. It's following all of our word rules. That's a snap. Let's put it in the chart. Great work on this activity. Fluency. We're almost ready to read our decodable book, Do Fish Eat Cheese? Before we read the decodable book, we need to be detectives for just a minute and look at some words that might be tricky for us as we're reading. If we prepare to read them now, then we'll be able to focus on fluency as you read the whole decodable book. Let's take a look at this page and see if we can find our high frequency words. Are you ready? Take a look. The first one I notice is the word tell. Say it. Next I see the word some. Say it. Next is the word news. Say it. Then we have the word now. Say it. Next is the word before. Say it. Then we have the word are. Say it. And we have the word have. Say it. Great work taking a look at these high frequency words. Go ahead and study them on this page one more time. Now that you know what they look like, you'll be able to read them while also reading fluently. You're ready to read the whole decodable book. Go ahead and do that after we close out this lesson. Closing Reflection. How did you take responsibility for your learning today? Which of the high frequency words were tricky for you to read? You did a great job reading today. I know you'll do a great job reading your decodable book too. Enjoy this story and focus on fluency. I'll see you next time.